Our remit was to patrol the main paths across the plateau and around the mountains here and engage with people. We've had really positive interactions with people all summer long really. Um, most people are very responsive um, when they hear that you're working for the RSPB. The first thing people would say is that they didn't realise that this is actually owned by the RSPB. Um, and that's even people who are uh, members of the RSPB, because that's one of the things people say quite soon after you start talking to them, is, oh, I've been a member for how many years and I didn't know this was owned by the RSPB. They may not know that they're on RSPB land, but once you talk to them, they're, they're responsive, they want to know about what kind of birds you'll find up here and uh, what we do. A lot of them comment that, yeah, it's a great job, <laughs> which, yes, it has been. It's wonderful. Obviously, you see a lot of ptarmigan around. There's a lot of snow buntings around on the, um, the summits, the Arctic birds. Um, yeah, um, I've seen white-tailed eagles, uh, two of them, a pair of them, um, sailing over Mialabukul. Mountain hares, it's just constantly, <laughs> constantly amazing what you find. The most obvious issue is um, people walking with dogs off leads, particularly in ground nesting season. Um, so the season is roughly the beginning of May to mid-August um, and during that time our job was to try and get people to either walk dogs on leads or to walk them under very close control um, and I personally have found I only had one person who tried to argue that there was any reason why their dog shouldn't have to be under close control. Um, very, most people as soon as they realise that that's an issue um, would put their dogs on leads straight away and they were um, generally pretty good and cooperative about it. It's nice to come up in the summer and see it in different, yeah, change, different change, yeah, yeah. What I'd say to people coming here is to basically take your time and, and look around you and they don't just constantly rush to the summits. There's an amazing amount of variety here that you can see in some amazing places. The light constantly changes and just over the last couple of weeks of we come into September you can really feel the uh, changeover from the summer into the, the winter up here. And, and yeah, things like the ptarmigan that we've just seen a few today, they've been changing, starting to change their plumage, starting to become more white. Just every day is different I would say, the conditions, the weather. Uh, the views, uh, the mist, you know, you, you can never tell what you're going to get and it's constantly changing, so yeah, fantastic.